Just to follow up on Pam, are you talking about days or weeks as the time frame of uh, the president speaking with Netanyahu? I don't, I don't have an exact uh, timeline to give you uh, other than uh, he's looking forward to having the conversation. They've known each other for some time. Uh, there are certainly areas of mutual interest. Um, and uh, as soon as he makes that call, we will let you all know. Give us further details about the conversation that National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan had with his Israeli counterpart, I believe, to discuss Iran yesterday. Uh, I don't have additional details on that. I'm happy to talk to Jake and see if there's more we can read out for all of you. Yeah, that'd be really great. And and still on the issue of the Middle East. I mean, I know that you're saying that you know things are still under review, including policies like the Abraham Abraham Accords. But can you please just give a, a, a broad sense of what the administration is trying to achieve in the Middle East? For example, does the administration still consider the, the Saudis and the Israelis important allies? Uh, well, uh, you know, again, I think we uh, there are ongoing processes and internal interagency processes, one that we, I think, confirmed in an interagency meeting just last week to discuss a range of issues uh, in the Middle East. Um, we're, we've only been here three and a half weeks, uh, and I think I'm going to let those policy processes see themselves through before we give kind of a complete lay down of what our national security approaches will be to a range of issues.